And my tonight topic, and I would like to have uh, you participating, is something which we pass together. I have to say that I start with this 15 years ago with the GB national team, recognizing that there is a people who are ready to share everything what they have. And uh, I recognize that they are responsible, that they are people who want to participate. And I try to think in a different way. And then there was a people ensuring me that I can do that with Scandinavian, with British, but no chance to do this with Balkan people. And I tried to do, and I did it in Israel, in Montenegro, in Romania, wherever I was working, because human beings are human beings. This is my personal view, and that has to be the second book, talking about this. And I hope that you will participate much more. What are we doing in preparation for the game? I separate this period before the match. What we're doing usually, we analyze our opponent. Yeah? We play Magdeburg in semi-final. We give everything to analyze them as much as we can. We use someone here is the fan of statistics. Yeah? Who? Who was asking me about confirmation? Yes. And second thing is video analysis. We analyze our opponent by statistical details, what prove us something, and video analysis. Of course, this statistic can be official, using from IHF and EHF. Unfortunately, I don't want to be rude, but I have to say that handball is sport without official statistic of Champions League. Can you imagine this? The biggest competition. In basketball, we know how many assistants, jump, or whatever have any player in handball. We just know number of goals. Sometimes we have number of saves. That's it. But also, we can do it by our own, I mean personal. And of course, that can be individual and collective. And of course, we can go down in qualitative and quantitative, by numbers and by position. You will see all these things. But what we are doing before and after the game, for me, is even more important. Because opponents change, and our team stay our team. We analyze our own team, and we use this data to programize our trainings, to make our players better, our goalkeepers better. This is exactly written up, the statistic, improve player performance in team's quality. Statistic is not to blame someone, to say, hey, you shoot one from ten in the last game, I will punish you with. Let's speak why he was shooting, how, etc. And yes, we have official EHF, IHF, SEHA statistic, individual and collective, quantitative and qualitative. And there is some what we receive on the big events. And we, honestly, we don't use enough data what we have. We don't have enough data, but we don't use this data enough. And individual, you will see, characteristic, top scorer, best assistant, scorer, assistant, etc., etc. And collective, what is my part, what I like to play, because how to know how Branco's team play or Pastor team play. I have to analyze team against team. And then here is a few examples. You are familiar, every one of you saw this paper, yes? This is from the last Euro. Here is well-known name for our Icelandic or our Danish friends. And this is the list of goal scorers, okay, on the similar I usually analyze the best because for me this is the way where we should go. And here you will see details of Danish team after nine games. 
There is a lot of interesting things what can be used. First, total playing time. Then you can recognize who is the first six, who is the player who will face you, etc., etc. But let's go deeper inside. After nine matches, you can recognize what goalkeeper saves. And with closed eyes, I can say that, yes, Danish team has a three good goalkeeper. But yes, they are good because defense bring us in situation to shoot exactly where they are good. They are not that good in other statistic data, but they do their job. And you see here how our opponent attack. And then you can decide where to put some player, why. And here is distribution of fast break. And all these things you know. All these details are there on the web page. Even before, on European Handball web page, that was clear. Now, if someone can find, I will pay a drink for everyone. Because you have to type after address, archive, and then to come inside. What is absolutely stupid. But going down inside cumulative statistic, you will see every single player and distribution of the shoot. And I take this from Spanish national team just to show you something. Even these stupid numbers, statistics, mathematics can help you a lot. Here is the player, Makeda George Pena. Position? Right back. Right back. Shooter, tall one, yeah? How many times he shoot on all tournaments from the right back position? Zero goals. Score from the right back position. But you see here, and you see here. And then you can prepare your defender how to protect him. This is data can be also important. And one thing is statistic. We can speak a lot about statistic. Another is video analysis. And I know that you are familiar uh, on previous camps, in previous editions, we have uh, people talking about. And Vir, unfortunately, he is sick. He was ready to speak a little bit about video analysis and some software. But video analysis improve player performance and team quality of play, like statistic, yes. And there is free software what every computer on the planet can use. In Mac, there is iMovie. In PC, that's Movie Maker, you can use it. Uh, Italian national team, I was playing with them with the Israeli. You remember Bully, they use some Excel sheets, Greek team, and Italian team analyze everything with VLC player. Believe me or not, but very well. Trust me about this. And of course you have professional software, that's bully things. He is using this Final Cut, he is a fan of this. But from other companies have Adobe Premiere and those are professional software for video analysis, not for the sport. In sport we have special software, call it different, by the countries. Utilus, German one. Someone heard about? German League use it. Dartfish, where is our French friends? Yes. Longo match, free version, with free version of Longo match, the Spanish one, you can analyze the game, but only one match. That's for free. Only one of all this for this for free. XPS, very famous and very expensive one. Interplay Sport, Norwegian, you remember that one. And Video Observer, Portuguese, use it in football, handball, and other sport. And let's see the short presentation how <coughs> European Handball Federation see us in our game.
Kin excellent man from the company. Yes. is recording. But from 2019, that's reality, in, at least in Final Four. And there is a match data would collect all this software. And I'm not sure that most of them are useful for the coaches, but for the journalists, for spectators, it's interesting about running distance, playing time, fastest sprint, highest jump, fastest saves. I don't know why that's so important. And there is some things collected in chip of select ball, that's ball speed, shot detection, position, and placement on the ball and target. But as we said, before and after the game, we analyze our own team. First, we analyze opponent, yes, but we analyze our own team by statistic, individual, collective, defense and our goalkeepers, of course, Probably. and we use video analysis of our own team from the previous game, from the trainings, and there is a Israeli software, call it PlaySight, we have used there in Israel seven, eight years ago and still is not that well known. Anyone here knows except Israeli something about? No. Uh, for me, it's very important that we track the game in real time. Okay, I will speak a little bit later about statistic and video analysis in real time. Not after the game, not to be smart three days after the game that we lost the game and how we lost the game. Immediately, in real time. And. Of course, Kinexon is the company what is now working with EHF. But here is one example from this season. What we can do, you know that I argue with Sasha all the time. There is a lot of things, fashion things, what you can do with apps, with computers, with software. But there is a million things what you can do by your own if you know what you want. And here is one example sheet what I am using. Is familiar. Here is about attack, about 
shooting part. Here is about technical part, assistant, technical foul, gain, balls, and seven meter. And here is about a little bit about defense. And here is the goalkeepers. You see the Piotr Shomirsky, 30%. What mean nothing? You have to come deeper inside from where, how, side, etc., etc. This is one of example. And here all these data coming in collective analysis. And for me, usually I joke that if I have three of this paper, I can tell you almost everything about your team, even I never saw your game. And that's true. That's not I need one game what you play at home. I need one game of your opponent playing ab abroad. And I need one more game from that competition. But to understand this is structure of the game. Okay? And you see that this team spending a lot of 40%, let's say, but much more, and that's my team, from shoot from 9 meter and team of Schaffhausen, Kadeten, spend much less on that game what we play. Actually, it was not important game last round, didn't decide <coughs> nothing. And here is something about goalkeeper and defense, from where shoot coming to where shoot coming. And for example, just like idea, you can analyze your goalkeeper, you can analyze your defense, then you can find player number 24 from where he shoot, jump shoot, position 5, easy to recognize, and again 24, position 4. Immediately I can find him and analyze, take all this data directly and talking with my goalkeepers about them. Also, we don't use just, again, to criticize, you can recognize that your goalkeeper save much more ball on the right hand side than on the left hand side. And then to practice with him a little bit more with left hand or up or down, doesn't matter. And here is uh, Dan Tepper, this uh, Spanish sheet. I just want to show you different, just to have in mind. From where shoot is coming, Bulligan will here make you million color blue red, etc. But I have to tell you also a few words or one minute about play site. It's the Israeli league game. The system is on the wall. Cameras up, automatically everything. You can see from the, that perspective, that perspective, that perspective, side perspective. Biomechanical analysis and much more. So we're going to show one of the end camera views here. So easy to manipulate up, down, cutting immediately, sent to the mail of the players, of course. Changing perspective. Okay, let's see that from the other side, from the side. Okay. Let's see now from this perspective. Funny thing, uh, system is always working because it's automatically and uh, I have a story with the player. We have some warm-up game and there was a player, actually I will mention his name on the end because there is a short video. And he was telling me, I say, Novak, let's move. He say, hey, coach, I'm moving. Okay, whole team, let's come here on the wall. Just make it bigger, just showing him, zoom in, in five minutes, 
he's walking there on the court, and then I do like this and send to him on his email to watch at home, like today Branko was telling that you have to analyze at home. Actually, the system independent, what is in, installed in whole and cost you money to install, and after you have just to use at home. But what is the best game plan? And I will try to be fast now coming the topic. All these things are classical. Most of you are using. Nothing is different. There is just one thing what we don't have. Time is precious, sirs. And we who play two matches per week know that mostly our video analysis and coaches are people who don't sleep enough. And then I will ask the question, is it that that smart? Definitely not, because we are also important like players. And if we are not focused or concentrate or rest, most important player is not enough. Good. Here is example, because I was using this in April in Israel. Uh, weekends are Friday and Saturday, maybe like there in Iran. But you can count here Saturday and Sunday, week start with the Monday, and you can see one game per week for the weekend, SNC and SNC, individual training, that was what you asked, collective training, video analysis, and here is the question. I usually like to have a training on the match day. And of course, after the game procedure, recovery, etc. Here is Two matches per week, actually still working individually, still two SNC, still recuperation, and still video analysis. Yeah, regular. But this is the sentence what I would like you to remember, if I have to choose one. It really doesn't matter what we know, how much time we spend knowing our opponent. If our players, if our soldiers don't know that, that's for nothing. Okay? That was our calendar. You see international games, you see league games, you see everything. And if you imagine that we should travel from Israel to, let's say, Copenhagen, playing against Carlos Ortega team, Magdeburg and Tata Banya, you will see that we should spend a lot of time. But why to change something would work? And decision coming from us, that's our choice. We should organize some new strategy, prepare the plan, and I will let you know that uh, this is cost effective. I'm not telling you now that you have to spend uh, how much is to, to install play site in the hall. It's not that, that, that cheap. But I'm talking now about free of cost things. Strategy, plan, Google Drive, 15 giga is free, yes. You use it. And then to select game selection. I told you the three games are minimum home and away and between team what you have to play. Then you have to select the group members. Then you have to, of course, as a coach, you have to upload, you have to prepare all these things. First, games, what player has to see. Second, individual analysis, and I have here of West Prem of some. And collective analysis. What does it mean? Moves, what they play, defense, good things, bad things, pivot left, pivot right, blah, 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 blah. Okay? And then you send or you share, you upload to share with your players. What is uh, sending this to your players like in past, on Dropbox and all these things, mean that they have to watch on computers how many players take their computers with them. There is one resource, 
around us everywhere. And this is their phones. What I have to do is to put everything <coughs> on Google Drive that with one click, wherever they are, they can come inside and see this minute or 45 seconds or two minutes of their opponent. And then I will win. Here is one of example playing the match <laughs> versus Vulture, very important game. And I will just show you how looks this Google Drive. In Google Drive, we put different things, okay? If player click inside the link, he will find game, what we play between, analysis, individual analysis of the player, previous analysis, some new analysis, shoots, everything. And every player going to her or his place. Then you click on these individuals here and you open players and goalkeepers. Then when you click on players, you're coming on your players what you have to analyze. And from all these things, I'm left wing, I have to analyze the right wing. I will click here and see the video what is 90 seconds, let's say. And here is to understand how this works. Here is one example. Uh, to play as a unique and uh, first Israeli team in uh, group phase of European competition, we have to win team of St. Petersburg, led by Dmitry Targovanov, national coach, second team who was playing last two years in Champions League. Okay, then I prepare myself analyzing this team from previous round of EHF Cup. You see that they play against Ankara from Turkey and Benfica and they won both opponent. And four matches from Russian Super Cup and League. Derby matches against Chekhovsky, against good good teams. But let's be honest, if you give your player and you tell them to watch eight games, how many of them will see eight games? Nobody. Nobody. And what is idea? Idea is that every one of these players, I separate them in group, 16 players, in group of four, see only one game. Okay? Every one of them will see the one game for sure. Okay? And then, this group has to watch every one of them only one game, that game, and to say how they defend, to think about this. Another four players will watch four games, and they will see how they attack. Third group, how to defend, and you can see immediately connection between these two. And fourth group, how to attack. Okay, but to just to give them and to say, tell me this, it's not enough. Then they have a paper, every one of them, you remember, previous, okay, how they defend. Okay, how they defend. Facts. Question and answers. What type of defense they play? Feel it. Additional defense. Strong and weak parts. Who change defense and attack? Goalkeepers and advice about them. What type of defense they play in six versus five situation? Individual characteristic of defender, whom to be attacked and how and where to avoid, where not to attack, of course. And there is an instruction when you watch the game, what you have to see. And then, you see here that group A and D talking about opponent defense. Four players, what will be collected in the, first, in the first meeting, in the group, will speak between them, between four of you, how they defend. And you will say, 
On my game, what I watch, they play 6-0. You will say, on my game, they play 6-0. You will say, in on my game, they play 6-0. And if you say they play 6-0 in four different games, that means their defense is definitely 6-0. Yes? And four other players who are with you in the big group has to give us how to attack. Of course, we know what attack we use, and of course, they saw for another game, and they recognize what defense opponent play, and they say, okay, that was useful against their defense, we play the same move, let's do that, okay? And then, the same about opponent's attack. And then we coming together on the meeting. First 15 minutes, you speak between yourself. And then in next 15 minutes, you join the group and there is a one of you who is delegate and put the things on the paper. And from this group also one who put the things on the paper. And you see their papers, all of these things, what you recognize. Uh, you see some cohesion between from the pictures? How they look? They are quite interesting, yes? Their faces. Good. Usually when I speak about this, I like to ask the question, what is strongest creature on planet Earth? Life. Okay. Sorry, I didn't understand the question. Elephant. Let's say, kids say elephant. He was thinking that he's lion. But then, next question, Razvan, who is strongest, who is stronger than elephant? Stronger than elephant? Yes. Hey. Two elephants are stronger than one. And then no one of us knows as much as we know. If we now start to search, we will find that we speak Pers Persian, Greek, Danish, Romanian, Hebrew, Serbian, Slovenian, Icelandic, Turkish, French, Spanish. How many languages? No one of us will know all these things. And then, what is another very important thing is that we put our players to collaborate, to be the team. And this is something from Torah, but I will say on the handball words, I learn a lot from my teachers, really. I learn even more from my colleagues, but mostly I really learn from my players. And you will find the things what you don't believe. You just have to open this Pandora box. But what is the role of the coach? It's not that coach has to sleep at home and players will watch the game. Coach will see all these eight games. That's your role. But a role, your role in the meeting is first duration. Not like this one, too long you lose the concentration, they are short. Then, you have to choose about place and time to hold the meeting. Usually it's in the sport hall. You are coming immediately to practice. Then you have to choose the speakers. Who is the best one to speak about opponent defense? Our best attack, attacker or maybe our best defender? Or once is one, another time is another one. But I can swear, if Christina Neagu speak how to attack, everyone will listen. Every player in the team, of course. And then, for me, all these things are interesting just if we apply them during the game. It's nice to analyze before, because we are preparing for the game. It's not that nice to analyze after, if we lose. But during the match, what we have, 
We have our statistic. Do we have some video analysis? Someone here uses video analysis during the game in real time, Branko? Nexe? Okay. But in every single team in NBA, they use it. Players coming in the halftime, there on the screen is analysis. And Budućnost, Podgorica, team of Dragan Ajis from Montenegro, a national team of Montenegro, used it 10 years ago in London. That means it's possible. We are not talking about Apollo program. And someone knows this, this name, this guy, Red Oerbach? Google knows. Red Oerbach is one of the most successful basketball coaches in all time, with 20 rings. 10 as a coach and 10 as a president sport director of Boston Celtics. And he said, you don't win the games as a coach during the games. Players win during the game, not coaches. You win game as a coach before. And that's the message what I would like to send. Because now, telling something what you want to say always, you want to ask, and Sale is missing me now, something about scientific science about proven things is when I'm talking with you speed of my vocabulary is about 150 words per minute and in the same time your brain analyzing 800 is capable to organize analyze 800 words what does it mean you're observing me you see your phones you are listening to things around. You are capable to do this. Of course, you know that on the TV, when you see some weather forecast, for example, they speak about weather, but in the same time, they show you a picture of the sun, and you immediately, your brain recognizes that tomorrow is sunny day. You don't have to, to listen, and all other things. But how we learn? We learn 11% of things with sense of hearing and 83%, and I will tell you about girls even more, of things what you see. But what we remember, it's one thing what you hear here and what you see, what you will remember from this evening is 20% of what you hear and 30% of what you see. That means, in total, 50% of what you see and hear. But you will remember 80% of the words what you say. And you will remember 90% of words what you say and what you do. What does it mean? In our meetings, if you as a coach speaking with them, 50% of the things immediately you can throw. But if they speak about and they repeat immediately on the training after, 90% of these things will stay. And that's exactly what we want. And what we keep is not just on short memory, it's long-term memory is 20% of this audiovisual material, 50% of discussion, and 75% of the practical exercise. That's why it's important that we implement our analysis in our training. And 90% of things what we teach others. And here is an example of Israeli national team we qualified over Romania, team who play final in U19 against Sweden, and then we kick them out with open 3-1 defense and good analysis. 
and you will see how look our changing room, our players went to warm up and me and my assistant, we are in changing room. And all these things are made by players. That's their preparation. It's on the wall. They know these things. Million information. And I will finish my presentation. There is two small video material to make us laughing a little bit with the things of, with the sentence of Albert Einstein that is really stupid to teach young generation what they have to do. We as a coaches, we just try, we attempt to provide condition in what they can learn. And that's our duty, to give them, as Bulligan like to say, is not to give them a fish for dinner, to teach them fishing. And this video material doesn't mean that they have to be boring things what they observe. See our preparation for the first game in the EHF Cup. Read. EHF Coupe. Going to the battle. Secret plan. And that's something what Tata Banya is doing. Just see what they're doing. For me it was important that they remember that that will happen. Old hold. Opa. Coming from the bench, stealing the ball. Team of them and analysis. In the same moment, players are free to make their own videos. And uh, it's always emotional when I mention the name of this young guy. Novak Boskovic, who unfortunately killed himself, like a suicide, amazing, talented player. And you will see how he was, because all of them also make their own videos. And that was his game plan. It's typical of Novak. His message was, we will smash them. I apologize that I was a little bit longer. That was two different topics, what I wanted to present you. And I will ask you if you really want to ask anything, because there is a lot of experience. I did it with different teams on different levels. And that worked. That's my message that works. Just trust to your player. I have nothing against classical way of analysis, and you will not use old way, this one. But when something is really important, when you don't have time, when you have to analyze your opponent in a day, and that's something what's happened in big events, if someone here was playing in European or World Championship, doesn't matter what category, you know what I'm talking about when you have a match and then you have a day, now we are happy before we don't have any break, we play every single day. What to do? To analyze previous game, to prepare for the next game and coaches don't sleep, they are working hard, but for what? That's something what I ask because our players playing there on the court and they are winners. We help them. Feel free to ask if there is some questions. Yes. Have you ever done this kind of uh, analysis with youth players? I 
think to understand him in the 90s. And you recommend, we have this undergoing discussion in Denmark that if or if we should not uh, use the video in uh, the practice for the youth players. Hmm. I, I did it and uh, in one season it worked pretty well, but I think it requires a lot of work. You open another huge field of questions for what and what we really want with our young players to compete or to create the players able for, for the senior national team. And then answer if we compete, of course, that we should in include them because we should educate them. Players cannot come in the senior age without this feeling. Yes, but not all the time. Mix it, your um, teaching styles, or coaching styles is a better word, is something that will give you result. You have always to be different. Sometimes you will come with funny videos, sometimes you will come with serious things, sometimes you will tell them to prepare. I think this is the best way, opening. There is a, because everything what is, what you repeat and what become matrica is is not working after some time. I, I don't know. Are you satisfied with the answer? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Kiros. Two? Definitely not. You, you, you want to ask about time of the meeting, time of the video? Also, time of training, time of uh, theory, time of all over the week, all over the uh, Yes. The program. I, I already did the mistake because I wanted to put two liters in bottle of one liter. Tonight. But sometime. <clears throat> Choosing the best things means that you have to watch and to find the leaders, someone who will lead others. And we are not the same. That's something what I have to send as a message. And then we have a different capacity. Meetings has to be short. Short. Shorter than 45 minutes. Definitely. Even this is that big for the modern generation, I swear. That's why I choose these short video clips and I'm targeting individuals. I'm sending you information, Kiros, just about players who play against you. You don't have to know about players who play against Bulligan. That's coach job. I'm trying to save the time as much as I can. Not more than two meetings, short, as I said, but to repeat all the time. And that's why I use this Google Drive. Now it's a little bit bigger because the uh, matches are bigger. Uh, but still, you should believe and you should trust that there is someone able to, to go further, to go deeper, to go. That's why. Sometimes I use another type of preparation, even there in Chesima. I'm sending something just for the group of players, not for everyone. And I think that we should adjust this because even training technology is not that easy. Why we train our players on the way we were training? That is 40 years already difference. And I, I, I don't trust, I don't believe that we should have a collective training morning and evening. It's ridiculous. Maximum of collective training per day is one. On second one, we should work things, what is important for Bulligan, gym, for Fatih, running, for you, 
jumping. And on that way, we should put the things, but with that philosophy, on the place we want. As a coach, you base success in the next, next game, yes, on the team, but yes, on some individual part. And uh, when I am uh, presenting 3 to one defense, I have one example with uh, my defender, Jarko. He was playing there in, um, in Romania. It was a big case. He was, they didn't pay, and after Vaslu, he has to pay a lot of money for him. I instruct him on the beginning of the season to watch Kirill Lazarov games from Nantes. That was his duty from September to January. Just to watch every week, has to see the game. I was sending him a game of Kirill Lazarov. And then in January, my plan was that Jarko will protect Kirill Lazarov. I targeted him to do these things. That's something what I believe, Kiros, that we should do. Not to prepare everyone to do everything to prepare individuals to do the small things. And this puzzle, complete picture is in your head. I know that we spend most of the time, but we should cut as much as we can. We should be shorter as much as we can with the players. But you have also plan B if this player can uh, defend Kirillana? Of course. First, if you have only one defense, you don't have a defense. If you have only one fint, you don't have a fint because you are easy scouting. You need at least plan B. You know, that means that we prepare to play 3 to 1 defense, but we also prepare to play 5 plus 1 defense on that game if things don't work. And you know, a big competition can happen, especially on this playing. In last Euro, if you remember, that was for me a ridiculous Euro in Hungary and Slovakia. We have teams with, Hrvoje uh, Horvat will tell you more, with 35, 40 players because of this testing and COVID things. What you can plan? Because they tell you one hour before the game that this player is positive on test and all your plans go. But we don't speak about this. We speak here about preparation. Of course, plan B is welcome, but for me it's important, that is important this style. Because all of these players know much more about our opponent than if you instruct them individually. Because when we discuss, now we know much more first about ourselves and second about opponent. And for me, very important things is how to open the players to participate. Because if I say, Alexandru, you have to protect Vasile Stinga on next game, you have to stop him, blah, 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 blah. That's my plan. That's not Alexandru's plan. But if player stand in front of everyone and say, I will stop Hagai, and you do your things, then we know. It is sending the soldier in the battle with your own plan is not good. Because Haggai has his battle plan. And if he is loose there, I want him to be able to survive alone. That's the point of this. Yeah, but this doesn't Why? Maybe they interpret it. I disagree. Uh, making an honest relation inside the team. Uh, I swear that you will find many teams with not good relation that no one will raise the hand and say I'm guilty. That no one will say, I will do that. But that's the co job to provide these things that everyone understands. That is important that he's safe, 
It's important that you play good defense, it's important that he assist, important that he run. And if you as a coach value these things, then players follow and they understand. That's my understanding. And I think that works. Try. Nothing to lose. Anyone else? Thank you for attention and let's sit and speak about him.